shift with you today. Today we're dealing with corrosion. This one ain't got a whole lot in it. Norwich kind of looked at them, took a check at them. But this Torok one, good lord. It's in 64 games. And the weird thing is, I know exactly where this one's been the whole time. Except for that short stint that the uh, army had it locked up for me as I was uh, getting out of it. They're more than kind to take my stuff and store it until I figured out what I was going to do with my life. So that was about the only thing I could think of. As you can see, it's just those two screws. This is the easiest dang thing I've ever seen. Now we gotta get these screws, these two, last two screws out and call it, call it good on there. I'm thinking it's that. Don't wanna strip them. Too small. We'll call that good. It's a lot easier when it lets itself out. Oh yeah. Got some nice rust and or corrosion, however you want to call it. Flaking off right here. And the sad thing is, the N64 that I uh, fixed up, reshelled and got it to go, got it to work. I already gave it away for Christmas. She was very happy to receive it. As I left the house, realized that this Torah game had a bunch of rust on it. Told her I'd be more than happy to get it cleaned up and get it looked at, if nothing else. I got to test it at her place. Ugh. That's nasty. Just taking a look here. The board's looking very good. This ain't gonna be no problem. This is gonna be easy, because uh, I don't have to be so nice to this one. We're really gonna make it come off. It's just wild that I did that. Just try my dangness not to screw up this uh, tag. Try to keep it halfway original anyways. Unless she wants me to replace it, I'd be more than happy to do that too. It's not a huge deal. Alright, we know what we're dealing with here. So, I'm going to get us some acetopal alcohol. IPA, if you will. I have found out your uh, best bet is to use the uh, rubbing alcohol variety. I got some industrial stuff that we use at my job. But I found out it likes to actually eat away at everything. You know, I don't really think about it. I guess uh, the industrial stuff is just a little stronger. Use it on a circuit board. On my N64 I just did and uh, I started seeing green leaking out it's just like oh no I probably should stop right there yeah I know when to hold them and when to fold them am I right it's a nice little alcohol bath Get you a little scotch bright and just pick at it. I got all night. I don't know about y'all. You have to get too wild with it. The red scotch bright does a very, very good job taking everything out that you wanted to take out. All right, toothbrush, you're starting to bug me a little. Alright. 
I do not see anything else on this one. Set this over here to dry. Now this plastic piece. Oh yeah, it's coming right off. I just wish I had a, I had a way to uh, test it out after I was done, but you know what? I'm very confident that this is gonna work. I could be wrong. It, probably not corrosion for all we know. Just showing all the signs of uh, dissimilar metals reacting to a little bit of electrolytes, you know, like water. I just can't think of a... I know my kids haven't taken and tried to dunk like a donut in some water. They're a little goofy, but they ain't that goofy. That's a good way to find a cut. Not the preferred method, but you know what? That's how you know. Ain't the first time, ain't gonna be the last time. It's looking good. Just gotta take your time with it, y'all. Nothing too crazy. Just get all the crap that doesn't look like it belongs there. So I'm gonna be honest with you. You could train a monkey to fly, and they have trained a monkey to fly a helicopter before. You could clean a little bit of corrosion off your N64 gaming cartridge. Ain't nothing stopping you from just trying to save the actual meat, brains, and the thinking part of the whole thing right there. Circuit board. Literally forgot what that was called for a second there. <laughs> and I call myself a retro gamer. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? All right. See that? It's just coming right off. Gonna leave this submerged in here. I'm just gonna make it go away. I'm like your mother-in-law on the holidays. You just, you know, you can't. You want to. You can't. And you know it. Unless you actually like your mother-in-law. And if you do, I might tip my hat to you. That's for sure. Just patience and elbow grease. See that looking better already. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have any way to uh, 
doing a corrosion protection on this that I feel comfortable using on a circuit board area. Granted, this ain't going to be touching the whole area, but it's still going to be within the realm of it. Don't really want to... We, we, we got, I got some uh, CPC. Corrosion protecting can. But we use it on cannon plugs for the UH-60 Blackhawk. Spray it around there, just kind of put it on the cannon plug and it kind of sealed it in. But I ain't gonna use it on that. I don't need to go that crazy. This part's being a little bit of a pain. See all that nastiness in this alcohol? It didn't even look like that was that much, but boy, I'll tell you what. That makes it look nasty. Start beating up this side a little more. I swear, every time I move this thing, it looks like it gets worse. I know that ain't the case. I ain't being... I ain't crazy, am I? No, it's there. Plain as the day you were born, it is on there. I just don't remember seeing it. I should get some rest. Uh, that's a case. You gonna explain that to the shrink? They just see corrosion popping out of nowhere. Be like, oh, doc, but I seen it. Like, ah, no, it's been there the whole time. You're just not paying attention. That's what I'm gonna chalk it up to. As much as I want to do this off camera, I want to share on the uh, utter satisfaction of getting all the corrosion knocked off. Especially this nasty stuff right down here. Matter 
if I keep it up, I'm gonna have a water break free surface. Get a little aladine, call it a day. It'll never rust again or corrode. But I do not have any on hand, and I'm pretty sure this is steel. I mean, yeah, it's got that reddish color. Can't aladine that. You can only use that in aluminum, you silly. Why would you suggest that to me? If I had some gun blowing though, I wouldn't say no to using that. It's a reason they use it on a firearms keeps this nastiness from showing up of scotch bright That's how you do that, folks. In case you're wondering, you saw what I did. I'm just using that to jab this scotch brand to the little crevasse. deep in there. This stuff really, really went to town. Actually have to sand on that. I got some uh, high grit stuff, but that's something I'll definitely do off a of camera. Just get rid of that pitting. You don't need to sit here and watch me do that for three days. That shouldn't take me three days, but you know.
Yep, I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera for y'all. I need to bore you to death on that. Turned out very nice on there. Got a few little spots still. Like I said, I'll finish that one off camera. I'm also gonna take care of this off camera. I wanna use anything more than this, for sure, on this plastic. Good way to eat it up. But well, since we are here, a little bit. If nothing else, give it a nice good clean. Like I said, I don't think I'm don't really need to get too wild on this one. Let's get some of that corrosion staining off. Because this still can be slightly conductive. Even though it's corroded, all get out. Dab it dry. Now, I don't know what this is supposed to do. It's a little... It's not a video game restor restorations guy. See him use erasers on here. And I'm thinking it's supposed to act like a uh, one of those Mr. Clean Magic erasers. Let's add a little, cert a little friction... Let's rub off all the impurities. As you can tell right here, it's got that green oxidation. That is what copper does. I'll use my fingernail to chip it off. I'm definitely not going to go any deeper than that. If I do, I just might as well just get a whole new game and just scrap this. But we're here for restorations, not adding to the landfill. That's for dang sure. Pushing it up a little bit. Hmm. There's something to use in these erasers. These contact points for the circuit boards.
Let's do that number. I don't know, looking pretty shiny to me. I would call that a success. If it does fail, I'll let you all know. I'm pertaining to Mario 64. It's just got a little bit right here. I was gonna take it off, do that. Double check the circuit board. I already took a look at it and it seemed fine to me. But I do uh, thank you all for joining me. Hopefully we got this thing ready to go. You know, we just got another one still going. Truly a classic game. I didn't play the N64 much when I was growing up. But when I did play it, it was definitely always Torok Dinosaur Hunter. I wonder if they ever come out with a new one. Probably not. But, in any case, like I said, I'm going to do the rest of this off off screen for you. I don't want to completely bore you to death. But other than that, you have yourself a good evening, a good morning, and a good afternoon. Take care now. Thank you.